I'm Libra. Welcome to our channel. This is going to be your weekly love reading. It's toxic behavior, which is Capricorn energy. So dealing with a Capricorn, okay? Or you could have been dealing with someone, even if they're not a Capricorn, there's someone here in a love connection. It was toxic. They had some form of toxic behavior or trait or pattern. And somebody was in denial, okay? <clears throat> but you are denying... It's like you're in the energy of denying this toxic behavior or de or denying this toxic pattern. Somebody's trying to break free from a toxic pattern. This is some, something somebody's been going through this whole entire lifetime. So somebody here is not learning a lesson. Okay. And then there's someone here who is learning a lesson and deciding to break free from it. And there's someone here who is refusing to be awakened by spirit. <clears throat> So show me what else spirit guides that the collective in this connection, please. Rebirth. Like I said, this is the energy of transformation. Someone learning a lesson and somebody somebody not learning a lesson. Like I said, the person who's learning the lesson might be going through a dark night of the soul right now. Okay. Someone is in the middle of the, the area in their life where they're in this weird in-between. Like, okay, you got it, you know it's toxic. You're stopping, you walked away from it, but you haven't made it to the other side of it, okay? That's for some of y'all. Or this is someone who's in the space right now of who they were, who they used to be, and who they are to become, okay? This is a rebirth. Scorpio energy. Matur yeah, maturity cannot make this up. Somebody's got to grow up here. Either this is you growing up or this is this other person realizing they need to grow up. <clears throat> this person wants you to know that they changed and you inspired them to become a better person. You know? All right. Let's see what this is. Move this over. Immaturity. What? Let's look at this. This per immaturity. Somebody was immature in the past, and they know that. Cannot make this up. Their immature behavior prevents them from coming forward. They refuse to admit that that they love you. So you're standing your ground here, keeping your distance from someone here who's not learning a lesson, like I said, and you are okay. Or it could be the roles could be flipped and re reversed. Miss, and this person misses you. Yeah. This person misses you. They they hate being without you. It's been very hard for them to be happy without you. They thought they would be happy without you, but they are not happy without you. Okay. Um. Yeah. Let's go to another deck. Mm, 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 mm. You could be dealing with an air sign or you could be an air sign. A Gemini, Libra, or an Aquarius here. Uh, we have maturity here, so that's Earth energy. So you could be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, or you could be one. And we have Scorpio energy here, water energy. Show me how this person is feeling about the collective. I miss the sound of your voice. They miss this, they miss talking to you. They miss the sound of your voice here. Yeah, obsessed and infatuated. So this person could low-key be sitting back watching you or on your social media. You don't know it. They could be asking around about you. And I'm so disgusted with how I treated you. That's that toxic behavior, going through that rebirth, growing up, realizing what somebody did. I mean, okay, maybe this is energy of someone finally changing here. Hmm. Okay, that's how many cars is this? <clears throat> I don't want to hurt you. So this person could be keeping their distance from you. Um, hmm. Yeah, remember they refuse to admit uh, that they love you, right? Huh. I stopped you on social media, came out. I told you they're watching you. Self-love, they're watching you taking care of yourself. They're watching you, you know, glow up or you could be working on yourself mentally, spiritually, and physically. Yep. All right. 
Show me here. Show me more about the situation for the collective, please. Show me more about the situation for the collective. You guys, make sure you hit the like button, okay? I appreciate you guys. All right, let's see. And subscribe to the channel if you have not done so already. If you're new here, welcome. Here's that Knight of Pentacles. Now, you know this Knight moves really, really, really slow. Slow. Um, you could be dealing with a younger Earth sign. You don't have to be, but... um. This could be the this could be the energy of immaturity for sure. And it's taken a could be like this could represent the time that it's taken a long time for this person to get to this rebirth stage. This person literally moved through phases and it may have taken them quite a while to do so. But the good the, the good thing about a knight of pentacles, you guys, is like the knight is might be slow, but it's steady as somebody who's gonna put in the work. Um, they're really no do whatever it takes, you know what I mean? This, this is not fast energy, but it definitely is reliable energy here. But it's still in it's still a night. It's still a night. So we'll see. Show me the energy here. Ace of Ace of Wands. So that's a new passionate beginning. But that also could just be somebody just thinking with their dealing or with their, you know what? I don't know. We'll see. Show me more. You could be dealing with the fire sign. This Ten of Cups came out in the last reading, too. This person does think they might want to give you a baby. Or you, you know, or they, yeah. <laughs> Somebody trying to give you a seed. <laughs> oh, my God. This Knight of Pentacles has this seed. This person is trying to give you a seed. This Ace of Wands represents abundance, uh, fertility, Sex, fire, passion, chemistry, new be new beginning. This is a this person trying to give you a seed. <sighs> oh gosh, maybe for some of y'all, the hang the hangman. You could be dealing with the Pisces. Let's see, the pipe the hangman is about, or you could be a Pisces. The hang person is like somebody seeing a different perspective, or this could be this person realizing like, oh my god, I, the, I was supposed to have a family with the collective. Yeah, all right, nine of wands. They're stressed out about this now that they're having this realization, or they're having this new this this new perspective. Because remember, they said earlier like they're feeling bad about how they treated you. This person's looking back on that. Um. And they're stressed about it and obsessed and watching you on social media. Look at what's on the bottom of the deck, the Ten of Pentacles. Ten of, this person knows they're going to have the Ten of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups with you, or they definitely want that with you now. But now I feel like they're in the oh shit mode, like, oh my gosh, what do I do? <sighs> Show me more in your spirit. <clears throat> Leo energy with the nine of pentacles. So this is you, confident, strong, standing in your power, single, freedom, not really relying on anybody, feeling like self-reliant, independent, just kind of doing fine without them, holding back. I don't, I don't, you know, or at least this is how they feel about you. Okay. Ooh, ooh. Mm, 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 mm. the sun card they are trying to give you a baby strong leo energy here you could be a leo or dealing with one another reference to children like i don't know what that was show me more here there's that page of pentacles and that nine of cups. So listen, there is a lot of happiness here. Somebody's just realizing like they're just they were happy without you, and you are their true you are their true wish, wish fulfillment here. Nine of cups. This person is realizing they were strong, stubborn in the past or something. They're realizing the hangman, nine of cups. They're realizing that you are their divine. Um and I really didn't mean to say they're realizing you were their divine, but they're realizing that you are their wish fulfillment. So I don't know. Page of Pentacles, you're the gift. You are the gift. 
you were a gift from. <clears throat> Show me how the collective feels. Wheel of Fortune. Knight of Wands. Let me see more here. How does the collective feel? <laughs> oh, you want to work on it. Three of Pentacles. Well, I'm going to tell you, it looks like you might work on it with this person. Three of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles, well, the Wheel of Fortune, the Nine of Wands, the Three of Pentacles, the Eight of Pentacles, and the Page of Cups. You, you want to work on it, but you feel like they owe you an apology. You walked away. Eight of Cups. So for some of y'all, this person really has changed, right? Because they got to change for sure with this Wheel of Fortune. You don't have a problem with moving forward if this person can show you that they've really changed. <clears throat> That's what this looks like. And they apologize and they're, and they're willing to work on it <clears throat> and be a team player and not be selfish. <clears throat> Cancer energy. You could be a fixed sign, an Aquarius, Scorpio, Leo. Strong Leo here, by the way. Or Taurus. Show me how this person feels about the collective. They, they feel like this relationship or the connection is too stressful. Not, I think they're the reason why the shit. They're the reason the stress is an issue. I don't know what... If, they're, if this person is stressed, is because of the decisions that they made. Let's be clear. I think about you all the time. Yeah, that's why this person is stressed because they're realizing, like I said, in this Pisces energy, the hangman energy. Yeah, they're realizing. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> no more drama. Yep. <laughs> they're realizing it though which is good okay I can't trust you so you feel like you don't want any more drama with them and you can't trust them <clears throat> hmm. I need more time to heal yeah, so this person feels like you're not, they, they just missed the boat. You know what I mean? Like you moved on and you're not going to circle back. Like this is how they really feel about, about you, whether this is true or not. And it looks like there's an underlying energy here where you want to make this work, but you also know that you have to do what you have to do to stand your ground and keep moving forward and to heal because, you know, there's a, something here about trust here. <clears throat> I remember you from a past life. So some of you all could be dealing with a uh, past life soulmate. Let's get your advice. What's the advice here for the collective? What is the advice here for the collective? What's the advice? Thank you, Spirit. Yeah. <clears throat> What's the advice here for the collective? Listen, I know this is... um. Hmm. I'll get back to that message. Thank you. All right. So remember, you are the alchemist here. Spirit is trying to remind you that you are the alchemist. Uh, you decide when the universe will conspire to help you. Okay. So this, remember, this wheel of fortune is here to be turned if that's what you want. If that's what you want. Okay. Um, you have free will. The situation can go however you choose for it to go, meaning it's going to be successful. Um, if the intentions are good, but spirit wants you to focus on creating what it is that your heart desires. So if you like, for instance, if you want to create a healthy, toxic, free, <clears throat> you know, whatever, then great. Maybe that also allows this person in the background to do their healing work. You know what I'm saying? Um, which happens quite a bit if you are in that energy because you're letting go of control and you're going with the flow. It says strive. If it doesn't challenge you, it won't change you. Okay, so this situation might be very challenging for you, but spirit is reminding you 
that it's just it's you're going through an awakening or this is the energy of that person like it's been a challenge but this is here to change you for the better right the wheel um is about change it's about fate it's about divine timing okay um it's about meant to be this is meant to be on your journey shadow using your darkness to ignite the fire deep in your soul so someone here you know <clears throat> spirit is saying take this learn from your shadow self or learn these areas about your shadow self and and use them to heal or be better in a next connection with somebody else, blah, blah, blah. Y'all know what I'm saying? So <clears throat> you could be going through a dark night of the soul right now. These could be your signs that are in your chart or signs that you're dealing with too, okay? We have Capricorn here, Virgo. Cancer, Libra, Aries, and Taurus, okay? You guys hit the like button, and if you need a personal reading, that information is below in the description box, okay? Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Bye.